What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's time for a video about 90 Day Fiance stars Nicole and Azen. It has been quite a while since I've covered these two crazy kids. As you probably should know by now, um, Nicole is currently staying in Morocco for the coronavirus lockdown, which is quite crazy because it could last a couple of months, which means that she's leaving her daughter behind with her family and not seeing her for a couple of months just to be with this guy who has treated her pretty terribly as long as we've known them as a couple. Couple. Do you remember the time that he left her stranded in Grenada and in South Korea? She recalled that story. We didn't get to see it. We only saw the Grenada situation play out when she went to the airport. And she's like, Asin, are you going to your airport too? He was like, uh, no. Um, yeah, it's a whole entire mess. I still cannot believe that she decided to stay over there in Morocco with him. But what's even crazier than that, you guys, is the news that's coming out about Asin. Word on the street is that Azen is married and that he's been married for quite a while and that he's apparently married to his cousin. And on top of that, that Nicole apparently knew this this whole time and has been trying to pay his wife off. This story is coming to you from SoapDirt.com. It's a really good website for all things reality television. I absolutely adore them. They're saying that a leak came to them and spilled all the tea on um, Asin's marital situation. And oh my God, I forgot to mention this in the intro, but apparently Asin's got three kids. It's a mess. It truly is a whole entire mess. Apparently, Nicole has known about the marriage ever since she tried to get her very own marriage papers together in order to marry Azen. Apparently, in his uh, culture in Morocco, men are allowed to have up to four wives, but in order to continue marrying more women, they need to have written permission from their first wives. Doesn't reading that just make like a light bulb go off in your head? You're like, oh my God, it's been so weird not understanding how the hell Nicole could go to Morocco with his family and friends there and taste wedding cakes, try on wedding dresses over there, like see venues, and somehow they never actually end up getting married, even like just like in a civil getting the paper signed and not doing the ceremony until later situation. Like it's always felt like something more than as in not wanting to marry her has been going on. And um, yeah, I think this legal sort of hurdle may have been what was holding them back this entire time. And it does make sense. Like I think that as in like a lot of the um, imported uh, spouses of the show does not genuinely want to marry Nicole, you know, but that doesn't stop the other people. They still marry for the economic um, benefits, right, of marrying an American. But um, yeah, I think that above all else, this theory is the most likely that he wants to do it, but that his first wife will not give him written permission to do so. Knowing now that Nicole has known for quite a while that uh, Azen has been married, you've got to wonder what she's been doing in order to try to get his first wife to give him permission to marry her or to just go ahead and divorce Azen so that she could have him for herself. Well, according to Soap Dirt Source, Nicole's uh, $5,000 that she um, and Azen claimed was for a beauty supply store of some sort was not actually for that beauty supply store. No, no, no. Apparently, that was Nicole trying to bribe his first wife to get permission for her to marry him. Talk about desperation. Nicole lives in like a trailer or something of the sort with her daughter with dirty floors. Um, she's getting public money and this is what she's doing with her money. She works like minimum wage as well, which there's nothing wrong with like any of these things. The only issue is that a woman in this position, especially a woman with a child who depends on her, is taking all of the little money that she has and trying to bribe a woman to give her permission to marry her husband. What the actual F you freaking CK. This is disturbing, especially considering even if she did get the permission from the wife um, for Asin to marry her, he probably still would not be able to come into the United States because the United States would know that he already is married, which means that, and like polygamy is not really welcome. Where does she live? Like in Florida or something like that is not really welcome across the board in America. So no, like it's not gonna freaking work. Like this is so disturbing to say the least. Of course, the source is also claiming that uh, Nicole has continued to give Asin more money ever since she arrived in Morocco, which again, 
I want to like shake my own head for her. Like, what is she thinking? Um, but they don't really say any more details about the three kids that Azen is alleged to have. Like, there's no details about how old they are, whether they're boys or girls, like nothing about that. I am really excited to get a little bit more information from Soap Dirt about it. Um, yeah, like, but in the meantime, kind of just hang in there and see what else comes out. I'm sure that there will be more information coming out from their interview with their source. I will link the article for you in the description box of this video so that you can go ahead and um, head over to their website to read more about the story. There are more details over there on their website. I just wanted to give you guys kind of like the highlights on what has been going down between Nicole and as in. Guys, are you shocked by any of this news or does it kind of like help the um, puzzle pieces fit together for you? Make sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below and we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.